All right, Shalom, Israel, Shalom, Shalom. You know, first and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And this video is going into um, birthday worship. Like, should you should, should you celebrate your birthday? Is that going off according to the Bible? Like, is, is God okay with you celebrating your birthday? You know, because we don't really know. If we're keeping it real, you know, you if you in the world don't know about this truth, you don't really know what's going on. You know, because we were never taught this. So when we came over here to America, we started celebrating birthdays. Because before, was we celebrating birthdays? Is it a count in the Bible what any of our ancestors celebrated their birthdays? No. That's not, they didn't do that. And I'm going to show you why they wasn't doing that. Because that's going off. That's like a sin. Because, first and foremost, let me show you this. And they, they man, all these days pagan, bro. All these days, birthdays, Christmas, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Easter, Valentine's Day. All these days are pagan. They started with paganism, wickedness. So this is Jeremiah 10 and 2. There said the Lord, learn not the will of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. So the, the Lord is telling you, learn not the will of the heathen. Do not learn the heathen ways. Do not learn their ways. Because a lot of our people do that. You know, a lot of our people start celebrating the 4th of July because the other nations was doing that. We wasn't doing that back in our homeland. The other nations were doing that, so we started celebrating the 4th of July. We started celebrating Christmas because the other nations doing it. But the Lord said, don't do that. Don't learn the way of these heathens. So birthday worship is the way of the, he way of the heathen. And I'm going to show you that the heathen was celebrating their birthday. We wasn't doing that. And I'm going to show you how it's a sign of idolatry. When you celebrate your birthday, that's idolatry. And I'm going to show you why. But first, let me show you that the heathen in the Bible was celebrating their birthdays. We wasn't doing that. So let me get um I'm gonna get Matthew This Matthew fourteen and six and seven it says but when Herod we know Herod wasn't an Israelite it says uh, but when Herod's birthday was kept, so he kept his birthday, the, the daughter of Herodos danced before them and pleased Herod, whereupon he promised an oath to give her whatever she would ask. And if you keep reading on, she, man, should I keep reading on? Yeah, I'm going to keep, I'm going to get it. She asked for John the Baptist's head and John the Baptist was an Israelite. John the Baptist was an Israelite. She wanted his head. She wanted him killed. On his birthday now, he did an oath on his birthday. You know, it's against it's against the law. You know, the scriptures to do an oath. So, um, and she said before instructed her mother said, give me here John Baptist's head and a charger. So she wanted John the Baptist's head. You know, the, it, it was the king's birthday. He said, hey, and I think that girl was related to him. They said the daughter of Herodos. So she was related to him, bro. And he watching her dance, lusting after her. He said, whereupon he promised with an oath. To give her whatever she would ask. And she said, well, and she being before the strict of her mother said, Give me here John Baptist's head and a charger. And the king was sorry, nevertheless, for the old sake. And then, which sat with him at meat, he commanded it to be given her. And he sent and beheaded John in the prison. And his head was brought into a charger and given to the damsel, and she brought it to her mother. And his disciples came and took up the body and buried it and went and told Yahweh. So it's a lot of stuff that be going on on birthdays. That's why I say it started with paganism. This man did an oath on his birthday and got your forefather, John the Baptist, killed on his birthday, uh, on the king's birthday. And I'll show you, I'm going to show you that it was a, all, all the other nations were celebrating birthdays. We wasn't doing that because it's a sign of idolatry. I'm going to get to that point after this. It look, and it said, and it came to pass the third day, which was Pharaoh's birthday, that he made a feast unto all his servants. And he lifted up the head of the chief butler and of the chief baker among his servants. So he started, he made a feast on his birthday. It was a celebration. The heathen was doing that. They were celebrating their birthday. But let's see what Job, our forefather, said about um, birthdays. Let's see what our forefather Job said about um, birthdays, right? This Job 1 and 4 and 5. 
Well, Joel chapter 1, verse 4 through 5. And his son went and feasted in their houses every one of his day. So John the Baptist's sons were feasting um, on their day, meaning their birthday. They were trying to follow the heathen custom. So it said, his sons went and feasted in their houses every one of his day and sent and called for their three sisters to eat and to drink with them. So they're trying to do the same thing Pharaoh was doing. Pharaoh did the same thing. He had a feast on his birthday. He called everybody to come eat with them or eat with him. You know, so they were trying to follow the customs. That's why Jeremiah 10 and 2 tell you, do not follow the way of the heathens. And it says, And it was so when the days of their feasting was going about, that Joe was sent and sacrificed, sac uh, sanctified them, and rose up early in the morning and offered burnt offerings according to the number of them all. For Joe said, It may be that my sons have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. Thus did uh, Joe continually. So Joel said just because they celebrating their birthday and starting a feast day, they sinned and cursed God in their heart. So how did they curse God in their heart? I'm going to get to that in a minute. But I'm going to show you this one more scripture. I'm going to get into how, it's a, how, how is it idolatry to celebrate your birthday and how did they curse God? So let me get what Jeremiah said. Let's see what Jeremiah forefather said about his birthday. This is Jeremiah 20 and 14. 14. It says, Cursed be the day where I was born. Let not the day where my mother bear me be blessed. So he's saying, Cursed is the day I'm born. Because we born into captivity. As soon as you, especially you being so called black and Latino, we born into captivity, man. We born into hell. As soon as we come out of mama womb, we, you know, we're going to catch hell. So he's saying, Cursed be the day I was born. Like, dang, just curse this day. I'm catching all type of hell. My people catching hell. I got to see my people strung out on drugs. I got to damn get racially profiled, get followed by the police. My own people hate me. He said, man, curse be the day I was born. Like, I wish I could stay in my mama's belly. Curse be this day I was born. That not the day where my mother bear me be blessed. So don't bless that day. You know what I'm saying? You can thank the most high for that day. You can thank the most high. Be like, Lord, I thank you for uh, another year. Because you know, that's a blessing for you to see another year in this thing. But don't make it a celebration. Do not make your birthday a celebration. You know, you inviting people over. Y'all eating this stuff. Uh, cake and balloons and all that. Don't make it a celebration. And Now, now here's why. What's the first commandment? What's the first commandment? Thou shall have um that is blurry. Hold Thou shall have no other gods before me. So that's the that's the first commandment, right? Thou shall have no other gods before me. So when you celebrate your birthday, when you when you celebrate your birthday, you putting yourself on.